the Evin prison in Tehran. It has been operating for 50 years. It's one of the toughest and top secure prisons in the world. You would think that this is where they keep the most dangerous criminals in Iran. But in reality, this is where they lock up political prisoners. Artists, Christians, journalists, poets, intellectuals, dissidents, everybody that used their voice or talent against this evil regime. Nobody really knew what was happening there until this week, Iranian hackers managed to break into the security cameras of Iran's notorious Evin prison and caught the officer in the control room off guard. The surveillance footage that is coming from Evin is horrifying. Iranian regime officers are seeing beating prisoners, dragging them on the floor, torturing them, punching prisoners in their faces. Islamic Republic's officials never allowed UN officials to visit the Iranian prison and now it's clear why. In another video, an Iranian prisoner literally tried to commit suicide, probably because he just couldn't take this anymore. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It is believed that tens of thousands of prisoners were tortured to death. The Iranian regime also kept in that prison people who turned to Christianity as freedom of religion is a horrible crime to them. And I have to remind you that many of these prisoners have done nothing wrong. They are innocent. Their only crime is protesting against the Iranian regime and standing up for freedom. Iran's government admitted everything after these videos were released and apologized. Do they really think that Iranian prisoners whose freedom was taken away from them, whose rights were ripped from them, will accept this hypocritical apology? You know, in every normal country, a leader is elected by the people and for the people. But in Iran, a leader is chosen by the dictator Khamenei in order to oppress the people and serve Khamenei to preserve his power and his future, not the future of the people. Because those that stand up against Khamenei will find themselves in prison. And still, Iranians stand up for freedom. Iranians are not silent because to them, life without freedom and rights is empty and meaningless. The world is talking about Afghanistan and the devastating situation there, but for Iranians, this has been the reality for over 40 years. Iranians don't have clean water to drink. Iranians don't have food. Women are banned from dancing, riding bicycles, and even singing, all in the name of radicalism. The ones that actually belong in this prison are those that operated alongside the mullahs of Iran, the president of Iran that is responsible for executing over 5,000 political prisoners, and Khamenei, the supreme leader of Iran. The current leaders of Iran belong in this prison. And I hope that one day, when the people will be free, the oppressors will be behind bars. I call you to speak up for the Iranian people. Don't be silent. Iranians risk their lives just for you to care for them, just for you to speak up for them. So don't be silent, let's speak up for their freedom.